Dang, I look like freaking Stevie Wonder. Oh, oh. Hey, y'all. I'm not feeling too good today. I fell last night and that fall was crazy. It's oh, a broken nail. I'm about to go get it fixed now. I gotta run to the um, post office and mail off some of these bracelets. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let y'all know I was leaving and I'm okay. I'm just really feeling the effects of that fall. It was so bad. I went and wish that kind of fall on nobody. I think I just missed a step. I'm just so sick of me. I promise you I'm sick of me. I'm so sick of me. I'm going to tell y'all why I'm in a minute. I'm already going through what I'm going through, right? So it's like, it's... Everybody know I don't have no qualms about hiding and stuff that go on in my life. I don't. I actually want you to know what's going on with me. If you're talking to me, because I want you to know where I'm coming from. I'm just transparent. Now, I'm not too transparent. I don't have to tell everybody everything. But me and this just really messing with me right now. I don't know why they have to, like, interrupt themselves in my life. I don't understand that. But, you know, I'm already going through what I'm going through. And you got my neighbor wanting to be all intrusive and shit. <sighs> okay. The little boy that y'all been seeing in every video who sit outside the store that I go to all of a sudden now every day. I should have, it should have been a red flag. It should have been a warning. It should have been, uh, why are you even thinking about that? But I thought it was cute or whatever. Nothing, nothing past that. I thought he was cute. I didn't say he was fine. I didn't say he was, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, it's been so long since I had one. A rebound, nothing like that. It hasn't even been a month. Two weeks, really. So, I just thought, you know, Oh, well, come to find out, he works in my son's barbershop. That's why he stands there. I think I said that yesterday. Because the barbershop is behind the store. It's connected. It's one door to the store. And it's another, a whole different scenery. Whole different atmosphere when you go around the corner. The same building, different door. And it's a whole different barbershop in there. Salon, everything. Okay. The boy made conversation with me yesterday. He already had me make a small talk. Yesterday... He was like, well, I cut hair here. And I was like, oh, I, I saw you wear the smock, but I've been coming to get my son's hair cut here for months, you know. Where, you know, where did you come from? He was like, I, I didn't say where, you, where did you come from, but I did. I was thinking, where did you come from? But he went ahead and must have said what I was thinking because he went on to say, I just started I just started at the barbershop a few days ago. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, just cheese and conversation. Nothing too serious, promise you. Then he says, well, let me give you my, I don't have a card yet. Let me give you my number. It's, uh, Jeremy may, who my son's barber, may be going out of town or whatever. Spring break, I'll cut your son's hair if y'all, if you need me to. All right, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. So he didn't have a car. He gave me his number. Courteous of me. I always, um, what I'll do is I'll, if you give me your number, I'll put it in my phone. I'll text you. Why the fuck did I do that? Y'all gonna wonder the same thing in a minute. It, like I said, it was innocent. There was no nothing. Okay. I get a text. This morning at 1.25 a.m. I'm already up texting Nisha. We is laughing, clowning about me not knowing how to drink that caramel macchiato. And he texting the midst of us texting and was like, what you doing? Kidding me? It's 1.25 in the morning. What the hell you mean, what am I doing? Let me show you I'm damn it sleeping. Okay? I'm sleeping. Come holler at me. Can y'all see that? Come holler at me. It's 1.44 in the fucking morning. You want me to what? Holler at you. Where am I supposed to go? To the barber shop? I don't know this man. I'm a can of paint. He's a barber. That's all I know. Was I supposed to get up out my bed with my son and just 
go outside to my car and sit and wait for an address. I mean, he knows I'm married. I mean, that very clear. He asked me, did I have my wedding ring? I told him, no. It was just a ring, but I am married. So, I put a question mark. He goes on to, goes on to say, yeah, come by. Again, where and why? If I don't know you, sir, why the hell would I come by? I text Do him you back. you know who you're texting? Yeah, unless somebody got your phone. So you know you texting me? Like, not some girl you've been talking to known for years? I said, wow, I'm just shocked that you would text me at booty call hours of the night and ask me to come back like we've been friends or something. Don't think Let about me it. get into that shit. Don't think about it too much. The fuck you mean don't think about it too much? Did you even put any thought into it at all? I'm supposed to leave my son upstairs while I walk down wherever you at? And are you telling me to be dumb? Don't think about it too much. Be stupid. Come on down here. Where, where are I? I don't even know where the fuck this nigga is. Out of the Texas circle a while. But you good though. Oh, no, 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 no. That couldn't be it. That, uh, that would just been too easy, right? That, that couldn't have been it, y'all. And I'm bringing up pictures. I attached these pictures to my sister, so I'm bringing up pictures because I deleted all them shits last night. 15, 20 minutes. It's one. I don't know who the fuck he think I am, but ain't nothing, okay? Nothing in this world, okay? Nothing. Unless you can perform acts of miracles. If you can perform miracles on me, I I guess it, it would be worth it. But ain't no man going to be doing anything to me 15 or 20 minutes and it's going to be worth it. No. Okay? I am not one. He must think I'm young or something. I, I guess he thought I was a little shy. I really don't know, y'all. 15, 20 minutes. What you going to do in 15, 20 minutes, Leroy? Hmm? What you going to do in 15 or 20 minutes? What? Hmm? What can you do in 15, 20 minutes that I can't do for myself in 15 and 20 minutes? Like, I don't... What? Last like, message, y'all. Okay, sorry, hon. I made a big mistake by taking your number. I'm blocking you now so none of your texts come through. You have a nice night. And I blocked his ass. And it's phone number two. Man. Can we talk? That was clear. He just wanted some ass. I wonder him just said it and play with me like I'm a child. I wonder he just said to me, cast some booty. But no. I would have respected him more. How he said. I just want to give you some. I really would have. But because he was straight up. He would have been straight up. He would have been honest. And it would have been real. And I respect him through things. But all this. Yeah. Just uh, You need my number. Blah, 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 blah. I don't have no cards. Okay, first you got my number off false pretenses. Then, you have no consideration for me, what I'm going through. Knowing I'm married, separated. Oh, my child. He'll never, ever put this damn nasty ass tubes in my son's head. If I don't like who I go to right now, I'd never go back to that damn barbershop again. Me and my sister were just talking about how... How many men talk to women or sons, mothers every day at the barbershop? How many numbers do they get on a daily basis? Like, we just was talking about that. I mean, how often is that? Well, last barbershop I left because of the same thing. My son had a good barber. Great barber. He was out for like a month. I had to go to the next guy. I seen you coming in here with your son. By yourself and stuff. Who that man be with you? Your husband. Back then we had. He was on the rock then too. I want to give, but you know. Well, anyway. Let me give you my number in case you ever need to call me for something. Alright. Innocent me. Same freaking day after I left the barbershop. Hey, can we meet up real quick? With my son? What? Like, what did. And I'm just so pissed you guys because I feel like I attract dumbasses. 
I attract crazy people. Like, I'm literally scared for my future when it comes to a man. You know what? I have no future when it comes to men. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I'm just to the point where I don't ever want to be with another man again. They got too much shit with them. And I already got a lot of shit with myself. I'm just. I'm going to marry stuff. But yeah, I just. I'm done. I don't. Ugh. I'm so scared to touch a man right now. Like. I'm even scared to have a conversation with a man. And I don't mean fearful for my life scared. I mean, I'm scared what's going to come out of their mouth. I'm terrified. Like, are you going to say something smart? Anyway, I want to mail off these bracelets. And you know what? It's even hard to talk to the women, y'all. There's a, a lady at the post office who's a lesbian, and she lick her tongue out at me. And I talk to my husband long and hard about these situations. I know some women have that look, he tells me. He tells me some women have that freak look. They look like you can just talk to them any kind of way you want to. Tap them around, pull the handbag, stuff like that. Some women hold they self in a high regard and a high standard, you know, or dress accordingly or properly so they don't look like a thought and all that stuff. I don't think I look like a thought. I don't think I dress like a thought. My clothes are form-fitting, but they're not like, holla at me. My boobies don't be out nothing. So, I know I, I don't, and my face is real. I, you know, keep it moving or whatever, but I promise you, y'all. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't life. I am going back to MV Nails so that I can get this nail fixed because of my fall yesterday. I don't know how they're gonna fix this. It's gonna be interesting to see. I guess I'm just gonna lift it up, pop it off, and put another one back on a pago, y'all. So let's go in here and get out for that woman come back up here and mess with me again in the parking lot. Um, uh, trying to give me a little Obama phone. So yeah. Okay, so I got this nail fixed, yay, like it never left, and so excited about it, because <laughs> it was going to bother me till it was fixed. It's, it feels thicker than this nail, though. I don't like how thick it is. Oh, I promise you guys I will show y'all my big camera. This is my big camera. I don't have the top on. It is a Rebel T3. It's probably an older camera, but it's efficient. I've bought three lenses for this camera, um, and I returned two because the original one that came with it is the one that worked the best. Not much going on today.